Hey everyone, Jay here. Quick update on the market from yesterday. Um, based on our previous video, which you can see up here in the top right, um, you know, we talked about this possibly being a symmetrical triangle playing out to the upside, and we said the top would most likely be along this channel where this trend line would be. You know, we either said 17.4, 17.5, somewhere in here. Uh, it does look like we had a top here right at 17.4, so fairly accurate. Now, if you're following you know, where the, um, the rest of the video went, you'd see that, you know, most likely in these uh, rising wedges, we're going to see a revisit to the bottom of this trend line. Um, that's pretty much actually, you know, we pretty much nailed this about where we're going next. So what do I expect next from here? Um, you know, it's really tough to say. Um, you know, it doesn't look like we're going to maybe break to the downside yet, but maybe we do see something um, similar. You know, we do see something like this, you know, some consolidation on this trend line, and then maybe a retest up here to 17.6, and then we come back down and then we dump. Um, otherwise, you know, we'd have to get pretty bearish all of a sudden after this nice movement to have a real break to the downside already. It's definitely possible. Um, the line I would be watching though when we come down here is this range POC um, and this 16.6 area. 16.6, I think it's going to be very. You know, that's really where our first liquidity is in this area. It's around 17.6, uh, or sorry, 16.6. Um, in this area, 16.623 is where we have this daily pivot from yesterday. Um, and then definitely this POC at 16.538. Um, so if we do start dropping, we lose this channel. We start dropping to the downside. I would definitely look for longs in this area around 16.530 and 16.628. Again, very strong levels. Now. If we do go up here, you know, we do have this, um, you know, this zone right here where there's no no volume, this gap up here. Um, so where do I expect us to go if we do go up? Let's take a look here. Um, most likely we would retest this June low um, in this area. What is this, 17.6, somewhere in here? Yeah, sometimes we'd probably visit where I drew this yellow line, which would also line up to the top of this uh, trend line here for this channel. Or the rising wedge, which all makes a lot of sense, you know. Um, so possibly 17.6. Now, if we do break above that, which is going to be very tough, look for this, you know, past November 2020 value area low at 17.8. If we do happen to break that, and we do enter this area above 18k, which again, 18k is going to be pretty tough to to get through unless we're moving really, really fast. You know, look for anything up here 18.6, which again, I I think that's pretty unlikely um, at this point or at least until I make the next video um, tomorrow so again just to recap real quickly you know I expect something like this kind of movement maybe we'll reconsolidate above this, on this line right here um, on this trend line maybe see another to the upside around 17.7 17.6 um, otherwise we could break this to the downside um, we'd have to lose a lot of you know our bullish movement and right now we do have very good bullish structures still right you know, we're still making you know, higher highs and higher lows. So there's nothing really to, to show that we would break this immediately to the downside. Um, it's definitely possible. And we revisit 16.5, 16.6. Um, but I see this more likely going up to here, 17.6, uh, 17.7 area, and then coming back down um, to this POC. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. Congrats. Most people finish early, but you made it the full distance. That's awesome. If you're looking to learn how to trade crypto, check out one of these other videos.